Video nowadays is important, a must have, we need to do this. However, if you're trying to promote your business and video isn't your strength, how are you supposed to get started? Well, I'm here to help you. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a template for a reel that you can take and customize for your own brand to tell your brand story, a little bit about what you guys do, your team, and more. And I'm gonna take it step by step so that you can take this and create your own brand story that you can share on social media. Now, before we dig any further, I wanna take a quick moment to pause and thank Adobe Express for partnering with me to bring this series to you. You'll leave feeling very proud without the extra overwhelm. So let's get started. Let's start with the template that you can use for our story reel. So once you find the library and go to the link where we have this template, click on start a new file. I see now my template is over here and if I click on play, I can start to see some of the elements. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna edit the timeline. So go to the very bottom over here and click on edit timeline. This is going to bring up the timeline and you'll be able to see several scenes. So each of these sections here is a scene. So as you scrub through the timeline, you'll see how there's different content for the scene. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna apply our brand kit because that's gonna save us so much time. So go to brands find the brand that you wanna apply, and then click on apply brand. Now, if you don't see it apply to the very first, this is because I did a little hack. Sometimes when you upload reels to Instagram, for instance, it's gonna show a blank page and not your cover image. And I'm gonna delete this first scene because this is just a flat image and you can see that it's just a background flat image. You can go ahead and click on the three dots and delete this scene. Then what I wanna do is I can go here and select Select, put the timeline all the way to the very end where you have all the animations go in and this is like the final page. Select PNG and download a PNG file. Then what you wanna do is click on download. Once you have that image, what you wanna do is add a scene, upload that image to the scene and then decrease the time as much as you can and bring the scene to the very front. So what this will do is let's go back to the original image. So what this will do is that that very first little microsecond, it's like 0.3 seconds or 0.2, it's going to now immediately show that on your reel as a cover. So you don't have to worry about uploading a cover, it's already embedded inside your reel. Now that we've applied our brand kit, you saw that it changed this dark color to the background. And if I go through the timeline, you can see that it applied that across the board. Now it's not a bad thing. However, when you have too much of a dark background with a lighter text, our eyes tend to get tired over time. So keep this in mind. Now what I wanna do is I wanna build brand consistency. So throughout this special series, I've been showing you how to put piece by piece and build your brand. Last video we did was on how you can create a deck. So I opened that deck that we did on that last video and don't worry, I'm including the link so that you can watch it in case you missed it. But we built this slide deck that we can use for presentations. To build consistency, you wanna use this to help you build this reel that we are modifying. So you see here I have a lighter background with darker text and it's a lot easier to read. So let's go and apply this similar style to our reel. So what you wanna do next is go into every scene and start to delete the elements that you won't need. As you see over here, we have the layer timing showing. If you don't see it, click on show layer timing and you'll start to see these. As you scrub over, you kind of hover over, you'll see that there's several different elements that appear at a different timeline. To do this the best way, when you have an animated reel or an animated template of sorts, I typically go to the very end so that you can see everything in their final state or toggle the layers and go ahead and start to select them to delete them.
Once you deleted the elements that you don't want, you can go in and start to change the background color for each scene. As you change them, you'll probably notice some of these elements over here that I was using as a strategic way to do cutouts on the images. So select that icon and go to the far left and change the fill to match the same background color. If you see elements pop up like this little half circle that you don't need, you can go ahead and delete it and continue to edit your reel. So I've been working on some edits. I updated my copy, deleted all the pieces that I didn't need. And now as I go through this particular scene and kind of look at the animations, I want to add something that brings my deck together with this reel. Again, we're about bringing that consistency throughout the brand. And I had used this beautiful torn paper in the pitch deck. So I'm going to copy and you can right click to copy and paste the torn paper on my reel. I can go ahead and adjust this to where it kind of fits in this nice little area. And then if I want to, I can give it an animation. For now, I'm not going to do it. But if you want to animate, you can select the element and find an animation. Now, what you can also do is that you can reconfigure everything over here with the animations that we have click on animation again, and this will add an animation to all of it. So if you click on it again, it's going to do its AI magic and it's going to reapply that into your animation. If it doesn't click on remove all and apply it again, it's going to give you this prompt. It's going to reconfigure the animation. And now you see that it appears in a waterfall format and we'll continue to apply this particular style with a torn page across the real story. So going into every scene and making those modifications so that it fits the brand. Since I already had a, a lot of this copy in my pitch deck, I'm just going to go to my pitch deck and start to copy this text over here. And as you'll see, it'll paste it with a different size and value. So what you can do is go back, select the text, go to edit, and I'm going to adjust the size to be a slightly smaller, large enough still to be able to be legible, but I don't want it to be too large. And what I had been doing was that I was using a different format. So go ahead and look at each scene. Make sure that your text is around the same size. So I have it at 21 point here. I want to make sure I am consistent and make it 21 point as well. The other thing that you could do to prevent to have to reconfigure this is to actually double click on this area and type your text or just pull it in from a unstylized text field. So it could just be a plain text that you place inside here. And that way you won't have to reconfigure it like I just did. So I would just double click and go in and type and that way it retains the styling. Now I want to make sure that I replace the images with one that fit the brand. So select each image and click on replace and you can upload it from your desktop, from brand kits, libraries, photos, etc. Now, if you select replace to replace it, let's say I have a library where I have all my images and you select the image, you see where we have right now the animation where this shows up on our timeline, it shows up over here. But once I select this image, what it does is that it cuts the timeline and this is likely a glitch. In case you see that, all you need to do is select the image technically under the timing and adjust the timing of how that image is animated. So that way it replaces it within that area. And what I encountered is likely a glitch. Hopefully it's resolved soon. But in case you encounter that, I wanted to bring it to your attention. So we've updated the reel with our images. And for each scene, we've added our own image for this particular brand. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to fix. We want to make sure that we have some sort of call to action in the very last page. I deleted most of the elements over here because what I want to do is I actually want to bring attention to the upcoming event. Let's say you designed an event flyer already inside Adobe Express. And instead of having to find the file uploaded, what you can do is access the file from your stuff. So go to your stuff, go to the area where you save this, whether it's under files or projects. I found the file over here. It's a hiking trip that I want to promote. So I'm going to click on this. Now it's going to ask me if I want to add it as a page or an image. 
I just want to keep it simple. Let's add it as an image. Now you see that it's added this to our timeline. So I want to make sure I decrease the size just enough so that it's not going to get cut off by Instagram Reels, you know, where it will cut off a little bit of the edges, but still make it large enough where people can read. And I don't need to have the website unless I'm directing them to a website link. For now, I'm going to delete the website because I included it over here. And now I want to make one last tweak. Let's go to the very beginning. Let's say as you are editing this reel and you want to really make it yours and you're happy with these, but you want to actually make the very first introduction part of the reel bit more of, let's say you really like what you did for this deck. Instead of retrying to reinvent the wheel, what we can do is since I have this open, I'm going to select all of these pieces here. I'm going to copy it so you can right click on copy or use a shortcut. Go back to this reel. I'm going to select all of these pieces and I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. So there's nothing over here. We can see in our layers panel, there is nothing. Now I can right click and click on paste. Since this was larger from the deck, I'm going to select this down to make it a little bit smaller. If it resize it for you, you're just going to have to adjust it little by little because what it's doing, it's accounting for the frame size or the page size. So that way nothing gets caught off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to reconfigure a little bit some of this so that it fits inside this page. And this is only if you feel comfortable doing this, you can always adjust that initial page that I did, but sometimes I like to go a little extra. So I wanted to change this. Now I'm going to go and change the background color because for this instance, I do want it to be that dark green. And here, what I had done was discover and adventure were separated. So I just added an extra space in between those letters. Now if I want this to be a little bit tighter, I'm going to adjust my line spacing and then bring this connection through in the middle of it. Now I'm going to click on group so that I can decrease the size over here and it's easier to read. Now we have this little icon over here in the background. I can make this a little smaller accounting for the real size and adjust this. But as you can see, this is starting to look really good. Now, because I just pasted all of these elements, there really is no animation to this. Let's go ahead and duplicate this part over here and add that to the very top. Now, I want to make sure that I also include the brand mark. So let's go ahead and add the logo. OK, this is looking great. Now for the last touch, what we can do is we want to make sure we add an animation. I can click on animation and since it really didn't have anything, you can see there's no timing of some sort. I'm going to add, let's say waterfall and then it's going to apply its magic. Now I can see how everything is here appearing in a waterfall effect. And if you don't like it, you can always click on each element and adjust the animation individually or the timing. Now we've got two little small touches. Remember earlier in this video, I talked about this initial image over here that we want to use as our cover image, our little hack. Let's go ahead and download this as a PNG. Now we're going to replace the image with what we just downloaded. Now we see our image over here for our little cover image hack that we just did. And if you wanted to adjust each of the transitions for each scene, click on this little play icon that you see and you'll see different options for the transitions. They will likely be new transitions that we can apply in the future. For now, I have a wipe effect and you can always go in and modify the duration, whether it's more energetic, soft, strong and what direction it comes from. So that way, as it transitions to a different page, you'll see that transition. Now let's play the final reel. So if things feel like they're a little too long, you can adjust and drag the timing over there. And if you want to change the music, go ahead and select this bottom layer here with the music. You can go ahead and delete it or cut it, click on add audio and search from all the audio options that you have inside Adobe Express. Ready to move forward? Click over here to find the next video in this series. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more 
right over here.